Hi, I'm Brad Hogg, and this is Faith Apiaries. Welcome to my apiary. Apiaries is bee yard, literally. The faith part is my faith to run, run my business. Running a business is scary, and I just have to have faith in, in my deity of choice to uh, see my business thrive and prosper. How did I start in beekeeping? My wife decided to take up beekeeping as a hobby. She got two hives, she ordered two packages of bees, and she studied all winter on how to keep bees. By the end of that study session, she wasn't so sure she wanted to do it anymore. I don't blame her, it's very involved. Just about the middle of that period, I got laid off from 20 years of IT job. So I was trying to find myself, did some numbers, thought maybe honey production could pay my way, make my living. So I, I dove in. My wife was my very first beekeeping mentor and she did a good job. So that's where I started and now I'm hooked. I, I have the bug, if you, uh, if you will. What makes it unique? The properties of the nectar source. My bees are the same as everybody else's bees in Manitoba. It's all about the flower, which flower they're visiting, which flower they're getting that nectar from. One bee will create a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her life. You see how tall some of the boxes are. That's a lot of bees and working very hard. So the nectar sources that they have around here, the hayland, the alfalfa, the clovers, sweet clover, Dutch clover, red clover, all like bird's foot trefoil, that's what makes it different. And the properties of that are not only evident in the taste, but also the likelihood of granulation. How fast honey will granulate is a property of the nectar source. Canola honey is almost always creamed because it won't stay liquid. It'll stay liquid for about a week, maybe two, and then it granulates. So you cream it, it's a nice, pleasant, creamy texture, but it's not gonna be liquid. Some of the honey that I've harvested here will stay liquid for 18 months or more. Usually three months, four months is what I can kind of depend on with this honey. So those are the kind of the properties that set it apart. So because my bee yard, my main bee yard is right near my home, anyone who comes here to visit or to buy honey, uh, I always extend an invitation to come and visit the bees. And most people take me up on it. Uh, you can even drive your car right to the beehives, sit in your car if you're not comfortable getting out. And uh, I've had such great response from people who get that experience. And I love sharing it with people that way. 